This is all about 9-11 truth, too. We've got to wake people up to the fact that these are the most evil people who ever walked the face of this earth that we're fighting here. These people aren't fooling around. They, they, they are kind of ignoring us here. They're letting us stay out here in Austin and a few cities that bring on their muscle and everything. But they know that eventually, probably, winter will come and we'll lose interest and, and, and run off. The rest of the world hopes to God we don't. And I'm on the side of the rest of the world. So, let's just say, hypothetically, somehow, magically, all the people in Congress, the 530 some odd members, were on the take. And of course, don't forget the Supreme Court. There are five court justices over there, also on the take. The ones that uh, put Bush W into office. <laughs> Those five court justices that ruled, if he doesn't get to be president back in 2000, if he doesn't get to be president, it'll hurt his feelings. So on that ruling, we got eight years of W. Those same five court justices are still around. And what did they do re recently? What have they done for us lately? What they did recently is that they uh, set up that ruling that a corporation can contribute money like a person can, like an individual. So what that ruling ma meant, the whole businesses are people thing, a corporation is a people thing, that made it possible for anybody to have a corporation, these super money people, the bankers, whatever, in the city of London, for them to go ahead and set up their funding to buy off our politicians and buy off our political parties and what have you, buy off our judges, our legislature, and do it without having to be a corporation that exists in this country. All they have to do is send a representative over, some guy, they can teleport him in from another planet. He doesn't even have to be a human. He's got to maybe look human to be able to pull it off, but all he has to do is have a method, a means, uh, an ATM card, and they can buy it all off. They can donate unlimited amounts of money, which by the way, they happen to have. Piles of it. So, hypothetically, we get these people to, you know, the ones here locally, to cut the strings with them, you know, kind of like JFK tried to do, which is why they put a bullet through his head. We get them to cut the strings and say, okay, look, you're right, we're bad people, here's the keys back to my office, uh, bring in somebody that you trust, and you take over it. Who's to say that they aren't going to just take it away the same way they did? Do we have to deconstruct the technique that they use? The technique they use is called collectivism. They come in and through attrition and the super money, they buy their way into every party. It's like that's what happened to the Tea Party. The Tea Party started off as a Ron Paul thing. And now what is it? It's a wing of the uh, Republican Party. Who are those people? How'd that happen? They know that as long as they infiltrate it, they can take it over. For all I know, this thing's infiltrated. It doesn't look it, but maybe that's why they haven't brought in their big guns. So you, that's the whole thing. We need to stay vigilant. Look for somebody trying to steer us back to the Republicans or the Democratic Party. You know, it's like Obama sending his people all over the place to try to, to call up this thing, to make it as if they are on the good guys. How are you doing? That's what I'm trying to I'm, I'm preaching. I'm preaching, my brother. Right on. Right on. So, okay, so hypothetically, if they give it back to us and they say, we're so sorry, take it. It's yours. Take the country back. Do what you like. We're going to stay over here on the side. Just don't cut our heads off like the French did during the French Revolution, which I'm not advocating. Yes, I am. I'm advocating that. <laughs> no, I mean, we should know. That wouldn't be. That'd be messy. No, but we chastise them, we, we ostracize them, we send them to, a, like Napoleon, to an island somewhere. We get them out of our hair. How are we going to stop them from just taking it again? How are we going to stop them from, uh, from just telling us that we won? They own the media. The media controls the election system because how do we know that this guy, this, uh, this guy didn't get elected president last, year, last uh, round? Because they told us that Obama won. What if he didn't? They told us that uh, Bush won. What if he did? It's the it's the, the Fox. They were saying that actually in 2004 that Bush had lost. Then all of a sudden Fox said he won. The other the other newspaper organizations fell in the line. 
We can't believe a word of it. And even if they stop telling us lies, even if we yeah. fire the media, if we get ABC, CBS, NBC, BBC, uh, MSNBC, Fox to stop lying to us, if we talk them into stopping with the lying, if we sever their ties to the, the banking cartels that own them, what's to prevent them from from uh, just using the same electronic voting machines that they've been using all along to steal our elections? So that's what we got to do, kids. Here in Austin, there's an organization called uh, Vote Rescue. I recommend you guys do what you can to join them. And nationally, there's a there's a Bev Harris with Black Box Voting. We we haven't got a chance unless we make the elections legitimate. Unless you've got some other way of doing the system, and that wouldn't be a democracy, or wouldn't be a republic per se. To maintain the status of the Constitution would set us up with hypothetically a. a uh, a democracy, a democratic type of republic where we have people who are elected. We've got to get those electronic voting machines out. That should be tantamount. Yes. I like the idea of getting rid of the fluoride from the water, but those yes. guys ain't listening. The uh, people who are in charge of the elections is another thing. Get involved with them and, and, and go down there and talk them out of it. Tell them we, we demand free and fair elections with paper ballots. You know, with, with people standing around watching to make sure that the count is legitimate. Because those electronic things, you don't know what's going through them. I know, I worked as an alternate judge once. I saw that the fix was in. First hand. Anyway, I've talked long enough. It sounds like they're uh, going to start setting up this meeting. This is a, a test. It's always been a test. Maybe with uh, the blessing of a man here, I'll come in and try to do this about the same time every day. Uh, Probably not tomorrow though, unless I unless I send it in remotely, I gotta go out of town. I'm gonna go fight the fight down south. Maybe they need me in San Antonio. Who knows? Over and out on Mars. I'm out of my mind, and I'm uh, I'm I'm in it for the for the duration. I hope the rest of you are too.